Look at this cool horseshoe magnet. The ends of this magnet have a special force called magnetism that can pull objects towards it. Let's have a look at these objects here and try and guess what will happen when we put our magnet near them. So we've got a metal screw. The magnet pulled it right in. We've got a button. Nothing happening there. We've got a lolly. Nothing happening there. We've got a gold ring. Nothing happening there. Piece of Lego. And here we've got another tiny magnet. So I wonder what will happen when we put a magnet near a magnet. Did you see that? It pulled it right in. Did you notice that the magnet attracted some of the metal objects, but none of the non-metal objects? That's because the force of magnetism only works on ferrous objects or objects containing iron. So metals that don't contain iron, such as this gold ring, aren't attracted to the magnet. Let's do another fun experiment with magnets. Here I have a little car, and I'm gonna put two magnets underneath. Using my horseshoe magnet, I'm going to make it dry. That was so cool. So each magnet has a north pole and a south pole, which describes the direction of the magnetic field. If we put a north pole near a south pole, they will attract. But if we put two of the same poles together, they will push each other away or repel. So the magnets in this car were repelled by the magnet in my hand and the magnetic force pushes the car away. Let me show you something else magnets can do. On their own, these little metal nuts aren't magnetic. But when we put them onto this permanent magnet, they become temporarily magnetized. Now each nut is acting as its own little magnet with its own magnetic field. And then if I take them off of the permanent magnet, they're not magnetized anymore. Did you know our planet Earth has its own magnetic field? It has a north pole and a south pole, just like a magnet does. And that's because the Earth's core is made of iron. We can see the Earth's magnetic field at work when we use a compass. A compass is a tool that has a highly sensitive magnetised pointer that always points to the north. Many people use a compass for getting around the earth or navigation, such as when they're hiking, when they're going across the ocean on a boat, or when they're flying high in the sky in a plane. Magnets are really useful and we use them for so many things in everyday life. For example, magnets are inside most electronics like computers, 
TVs and headphones. Some train systems use strong magnets on the train and on the tracks that repel each other and can help the train move really fast. And magnets can be really useful for looking inside our bodies with medical imaging. So have a look around your house and find some magnets to experiment with. You could try testing the strength of a magnet, seeing how they attract or repel, and testing your own objects to see if they stick. See you next time. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Learning with Katie for even more fun and educational content. See you in our next video.